and welcome to Let's, Let's Talk Throat. I am your host and also throat survivor, Jerry Wall. And just to let you know, I have started this uh, doing this show to bring awareness to stroke, TBI, aphasia, brain injury, and also to bring on experts in brain health to share their knowledge for all of us uh, to know. Um, so I just want to start by saying my good friend and also a stroke survivor who understands and has aphasia, um, my guest Paul Cummings will be on the show this morning. And uh, so do me a favor, please ask questions, get involved, uh, make comments, because the more you make comments and the, the more you get involved, um, it, it's successful for everybody. So, and also, if you haven't done this yet, please do um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Let's Talk Stroke. Um, so anyway, why don't we go ahead and get started? Alrighty, good morning, everybody, and thank you for being here. Um, appreciate it, and also I um, appreciate the comments. And uh, why don't we go ahead and get started and bring on my dear friend Paul Cummings? And um, why am I so nervous, Paul? <laughs> How's you are. Good. How are you? And I love that you guys are all here. Um, appreciate it. I know Paul appreciates it. Uh, I Good do. morning, Laura, Catherine, Mark Harder, T, Mike, T, um, yeah. and Deborah, Brooke. Wow, this is great. Um, Paul, I just want to say great show this morning as usual. You and Laura. Thank you. Can't forget Laura. Um, well, she's the brains behind the uh, OHOC operations. You know, you know, when I had a brain uh, injury, they didn't take long. So when God said brain, I thought he said rain I d and didn't get any, you know? <laughs> oh, I understand. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, Paul, I know we, we talked about this and, um, you know, we, aphasia, mm. you know, that's a, that's a big part of our, both yep. of our lives. And, um, Good morning, Virginia, and uh, salute, and Stephen, appreciate it. Um, By the way, Laura's birthday is tomorrow. Oh. Tomorrow. Okay. So be sure, Laura's birthday is tomorrow. I'm putting her on the plane so I don't have to give her a gift. And anyway, <laughs> I'm just picking. <laughs> oh, I understand. Well, but anyway, I love her to death and I'm going to miss her, but she is uh, going to uh, take care of her mom. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, be. That's, right. And that's important. There's been tough, tough times there. So, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's, uh, but we'll miss you, Laura. But maybe you'll, you do your show in the morning with Laura from there. I think so. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, wow. So Paul, um, I know there's so many different types of aphasia. Mm -hmm. um, like but if we start with, I think I have an expressive aphasia, which is another, um, another terminology is Broca's aphasia. I think those two are the same. Yes. And, uh, you know, you know, I don't, I don't know what the, specific kind I had, but I know I had aphasia. I know I had motor praxia a lot and dysarthia. So, and a little thing called binary disease where you get confusion about left, right, he, she. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Because I know that uh, so many people think, of, well, I guess it's part of the, uh, the, um, Aphasia, it, they usually call it like um, slurred speech. Yeah. So people think we're drunk. 
Yeah, I, you know, I, I just liken it to I'm not drunk. I'm just talking in cursive. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. You know, we laugh about it, but it, it's true. It's true. Good morning, Aubrey and Sandra. Yeah, a lot Mike. of people joining in. Mike and Dasa Megan. Yes, That's Mike. Amazing. He's funny. Yes. He, he, he reminds me of Mike Peters. Mike and Mike should do a show together. I agree. I know. They're so well, funny. Uh, absolutely. Um, yeah, and, and Mike, um, praying for you. Um, you've had your shots, I think, and you, you have COVID. Yeah. Not that I probably should mention that, but you mentioned on your morning talk yeah. this morning. That's crazy. You know, yeah. my uh, my son-in-law and daughter have COVID, and they had two shots in their boosters. They have a COVID. And my son, Chris, we're waiting for his test. We think he has a COVID. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, I know my, my son, Brendan, his whole family. Uh, my daughter, Kathy, as you know, who knows, uh, her and her kids, everybody had COVID. Wow. So, um, we just had to have to have a COVID party. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I agree. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about COVID, but no, we'll just, um, thank you, Sandra. But uh, yeah, um, we, um, what really kind of gets me with aphasia is like when we talk to people, when I talk to somebody that doesn't even know it's, uh, what aphasia is, and I start mumbling my words, or it comes out a different way that I wanted to come out. And uh, they look at me, and I can tell they're looking in a different way. Like, you know, have I had too much to drink? Or, I mean, you know the feeling when they look at you. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Well, you know, Jerry, I, you know, I believe that you have to believe that most people are good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Most people are good. That's the first thing. And when they look at me that way, I try to slow down and I don't think they can see our comments on Paul's page. Yeah, I, I, I can see, I can see him. I can see him here, and I can bring them all up. But um, they're coming up. All Paul's, um, who you shared it on your. I did, but yes, yeah, yeah. They're saying that the comments on my page aren't showing. Uh, they're they're here, so they're coming up. But you know. <laughs> It'd be something to go exactly. back and look. So what I'm saying about uh, interactions with others, you know, Jerry, yeah. when I first had my stroke, I can understand why people looked at me funny because I got out there without being able to really communicate. You know, Somebody would walk by me in the store like a normal greeting. How are you? And I would say things that didn't make any sense at all. Nice. What's, what, you, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Look what? Back. Yeah. You know, so understanding that I got some strange looks and you did too. I still and, do. <laughs> me too. And it's, it's sometimes uh, can be embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just want to go away. Yeah. Really, Absolutely. you know, mm -hmm. people don't admit it, but in, in some way it hurts. Yeah. In some way uh, you want to be thought of as the same person you were before because you have gained so much intellect through having the stroke, I think we are better yeah, good, good than we point. were before because we have more gratefulness, humbleness. We have to fight a fight that's uncommon every day yeah. just to think of the words we want to say and yeah. not get interrupted. 
Uh, yeah, I agree. I feel like we have more knowledge now. I, I do. You I know. do. And, and, you know, uh, but when you somebody, sometimes you run into one of those people that God just gave them the uh, uh, a free pass on being rude yeah yeah absolutely do you i because i still um feel frustrated mm -hmm. you know when when like you said you were talking when you're talking you, uh i forgot but you were when you're talking to st some people um and you feel like uh, you don't, they don't understand you. Um, they feel like they give me that look. I, I get that look quite a bit, but not in the family. My family completely understands. You know, they know I'm not saying the, they know it comes out wrong. And sometimes I just give up. So, you know what? <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to start all over and try to make myself. Um, make oh, myself by the way, Carolyn Horn is. Chiming in. Hey, Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn, Carolyn. Let's see. Where are Carolyn you? Carolyn Horn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, so what I wanted to say, Jerry, you know, when we get in that circumstance, right? Yeah. Think about this. What is our choice? Think about, yeah, you know? right. And when you're stuck and you have to order something or you stuck in, in the checkout and you have to complete that yeah. interaction, what's your choice? One, you could be equally as rude. Uh, you can roll your eyes. Right. Like she says, he says something stupid. Right. You know? Or you could just shut up and take it. Or you can try to explain. So for, uh, when I first had my stroke, I would say, I have a stroke. Right. Well, that's not grammatically correct. <laughs> I had yeah. a stroke. So right. <laughs> listen, listen, I was standing in the checkout and I said, I have a stroke. Everybody came running. <laughs> <laughs> so is that wow. I'm having a stroke. Oh my gosh. You, you I, know. I, I couldn't explain it. No. <clears throat> and you having a stroke? No. <laughs> yeah. No, I. Because the verb <clears throat> was wrong. <laughs> so, you know, have you ever had this occasion, Jerry? And you, like, I had a stroke. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You get that oh, uh, uh, that phone. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. What's this? Hello. <laughs> I'm on my show. Can you call me back in about an hour, please? True, Laura. Thank you. Better All right. Yeah. I can't. I'm turning it off. I can't get Jerry interrupted. He's too big a celebrity. <laughs> but you're so funny. No, but, I'm true. But you ever have that? Oh, you're fine. Yeah. That's fine. You know, that's discounting our condition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're fine. I'm not fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I so many people, what I get a lot is when, when, uh, Someone said, oh, what happened? Well, and I used to always go, well, I had a stroke. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, and something else, when I, like, just to backtrack a little, we go to dinner. We go out to dinner, and I know I'm gonna, what I'm going to have. And I, 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 uh, was, I practiced it, actually, before the waiter does it. So right when the, the waiter comes out over, I couldn't say it. So Barb, will, you know, I look at her, and she yells, he'll have this. Good. Couldn't it was crazy. I couldn't say it the right way. I would never let Laura order for me because I don't like what she eats. She <laughs> would, I'm telling you, I'll order myself or do without. <laughs> <laughs> really? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this one here. This is, oh. this is good. Uh, you are both celebrities, just like, wow. Hey, okay. Laura. Thanks, baby. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, no one darn interrupt Paul and Jerry. You're right, Carolyn. I, you know, I love these comments. I, are there any other um, questions that you guys have about Paul and myself or what you want to share with, uh, with all of us here? Because this I is just a great to, to acknowledge. Laura said, hey, you like the food. I do. I'm just yeah. looking at you. You're going to be gone. I want to make you miss me a lot. So right. thinking that's you. So. Yeah. You know what? This is good. Mike, Mike does Megan, get fish when you want steak. That's <laughs> one of the, that, I sometimes order uh, fish because trying to cut the steak with two hands for me is difficult. So I just order a salmon or something. Um, you know, um, we don't eat much uh, uh, red meat. Yeah, I agree. Everything's better with bacon. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Better with bacon. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had caramelized bacon in a hot chocolate sauce, uh, sauce on top of vanilla ice cream? Bacon? No, I never have had that. Oh. No. Good glass, a good glass of brandy, vanilla ice cream, hot chocolate sauce, bacon, caramelized. Wow. Mm. Never had that. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah. wow. Um, you know, I love so true. It's hard. So, Sharon, it's hard to talk clearly when you're under pressure. That's what it is. It is. Yeah, you hit the nail right on the top. Hit the nail on the head or something. Um, so true. That's maybe that's what it is. Well, you know, when you have aphasia, yeah, and the emotions are different. Yeah. So when you're asked a question, it heightens your emotional index. Yeah. Your voice gets a little louder. Yeah. And you begin to not get the delivery exactly right. <laughs> yeah, so true. When I now I understand. So what it is is when when I'm asked a question that yeah. requires that requires a, a big answer, like a whole bunch of words. That's where it is. That's the problem. It is because you know I. The hardest thing, I want to uh, ask the audience something. Yeah. I, I will openly admit, if I had to describe something, like uh, if that, like this tiny house I'm building out back. Right. If I had to describe mm -hmm. something, go into the house um, when you... Um, uh, uh, locate the uh, 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 electrical panel. Uh, uh, something is um, well. Um, it's oh, right over there. So I have to go and show. I yeah. I I can't describe anything that is a, a like advanced nature to any. Yeah. Because yeah. it just, you know, I would have the the guy electrocuted. For <laughs> oh, exactly. It's so funny. I I know exactly what you're saying about that. I mean, I so hard. Yeah, it really is trying to explain something in detail. You know, because I, I was told that in our the electrical panel, the same thing. I we just experienced this in in my house, and I was trying to explain. The same, the same thing, and I was completely. I had to go over there to show, and it's really exactly. minor. Yeah, exactly. I I would just rather walk over there and yeah. explain it. Sometimes I can't even explain it. I just point. Yeah, because I get so frustrated. Yeah, I, like I get the words out of my mouth, and 
to be honest with you, Jerry, that's when I personally feel awkward or a little bit like I'm not communicating as well as I should be. Right. And and I take it in myself, you yeah. know, and I feel bad about interacting with somebody else that I I can't make sense. So yeah. I don't know if you ever have that, but you know, I walk off from events or like circumstances like that walk away cussing myself you know yeah i'm with you i'm with you 100 percent. i know that feeling that's aphasia that's brain injury i you know and i have to keep saying that because it is so true it just you know i try to explain it and it just makes me feel like i'm not um uh, not knowledgeable more just not as smart. You know what uh, uh, Mike said, that is so difficult for oh. many. I had one friend I would take to lunch and always pick out stuff off the picture on the menu. I got it. Yeah. That's yep. so, so true, Mike. So, uh, Jerry. Jerry. What's that? Do you... Um, uh, hand out a card or anything no i i do i do carry the um tom uh did broussard dot tom broussard i know i do but your card that you we talked about and you showed me this morning could you do you mind just to read that but i tell you that is something we all need that well this is my sense of humor so don't you have to read between the lines, okay? Oh, exactly. <laughs> okay. I understand. One hundred percent. Okay. Fair warning. Please read this. I'm gonna yeah, oh, real quick. I'm, it says, "Please read this." That's the first yeah. thing it says. Please. This is you. Go for it. I have aphasia from a stroke. Aphasia means. I have trouble understanding you. <laughs> Reading, writing, and speaking. By the way, it's a medical condition, so tread carefully. <laughs> I am intelligent, but need some help with language. This can be frustrating for me as well as you turn over the card <laughs> to help me speak slower with simpler language if you don't understand me write the key words that you thought i said i may confuse yes or no answers so be careful <laughs> what you ask me Give me a minute to respond. Shut off any loud noises so I can concentrate or you can be assured that I'll say something abnormal. Ask me if I understand clearly. Give me eye contact while speaking, please. And if you have any other information, turn the card over and read slower. That's, that, that's what I need to uh, do it. And you keep that with you every time. Oh, yeah. Laminated. <laughs> yes. Laminated. Exactly. It is brilliant. Just like Deborah said, I appreciate that. That's You know, uh, <laughs> When I get pulled, I, I got pulled over by a cop and uh, for running a red light in my hometown. And uh, he pulled me over and said, I had to stop you. You ran a red light in front of about like seven people. I said, okay, you have to stop me. It's okay. I handed this card, not my license, this card first. 
I need your license, but read this first. Right. And he did. <clears throat> and I then I did my license. And I think he, he got to feeling so bad that I had a stroke. He let me go with a warning. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Trying to, you trying to explain it in the, because it's going to take a long time to explain exactly. it. Exactly. And then he will, let's get out and do a, the, the test, you know, and, but it worked out good. Maybe I can uh, uh, have a copy made so I can send it to you, you Jerry. Uh, when uh, I get Laura on the plane, I'll sit down and type this out. And wow. maybe you uh, you can share it with the audience. And maybe we can. you If you don't like the sense of humor, leave that part out. <laughs> oh, no. I like it a lot. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Yeah. People down south understand. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, definitely. I know. Exactly. Um, let's see. Heather, what, or who was that? Uh, Al, uh, my stroke was May 13th, 2018. I, on Mother's Day, uh, I said my. Uh, all I could say was one, 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 one. Yeah, yeah. And then I added my, I doubled my vocabulary when I learned to say sock, one sock, one sock, one sock. And I um, added a cuss word to that. I didn't mean to do it, but I said one sock. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I called my mother and said that, and you shouldn't do that. But anyway, yeah. uh that's uh, my story, and I so I just uh, kept working at it. it. Yeah, I mean, look look how far you've come. Thank you. Right, absolutely. I mean, aphasia completely. That what I understand that doesn't quite it, it improves, but it doesn't go away completely. Oh. But it improves. Well, um, the thing about aphasia, you know, people don't realize. When you have a stroke, a major stroke like you did, I yeah. like I did. Right. The damage to the cells that is dead will never be used again. That right. becomes clutter in your mind. Yeah. And you trying to isolate words through all that clutter and you can't find them because right. Right. The cells have to diminish and go away. Right. And that's one of the things that people don't understand. So they you don't. Know, sometimes you and I, Jerry. Yeah. Uh, and we laugh and we cut up and we have the, the best time because it's good to talk to somebody. Right. You know, yeah. I, they really understand very true so true um so marcel what how long did it talk both of you well it well for me it took me um trying to think i'm still can't okay my stroke was 11 years ago so and i'm still mumbling around but um um but it took me i would say maybe uh, less than a year just to start talking, but it wasn't real. I mean, it wasn't, um, how would I explain that? It's not, it wasn't really intelligent of all. No, in how you, you know, and I can laugh at myself all the time, which I do. You yeah. have to. <laughs> You're exactly. really not funny, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Between that and crying. Um, you know, um, you know, that goes back to the emotions. Yeah. They're not normal with a person with aphasia. Right. And, you know, uh, you have to learn to deal with that. And uh, sometimes what you were saying, I, I, if you look back at my videos. Right. 
I watch it sometimes from year one, and I said, what was I saying? Yeah. I thought I was doing so well. Sometimes I watch the video, and I said, I got off the video and said, wow, I don't have a clue what I was trying to get to the point of. So right, right. talking mm -hmm. unintelligibly, but yeah. you're talking. Right. Talking. Right. Progress. Exactly. And yeah. in the beginning, when I had the stroke, I had to go to speech therapy. You had to go. We all had to go through these, you know, physical, occupational, and uh, speech. But after, I'm just going to say six months, I, want, I, I quit going to speech therapy because I thought I was perfect. I did have no issues. And Barbara, that was like a, not a fight. We were just kind of, no, you need it. Trust me. You need <laughs> speech therapy because I don't understand what you're saying. I'm sure no one else does. Now, <laughs> I, 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 I argued that case. Finally, I went and it's like, I was almost like fighting with the speech therapist. But I, and then finally, I realized, you know what? I do need it. And uh, But it took a while to go back into it. You know, I didn't want to admit it. Wow. Can you pull up Carolyn's incoming comments? So, uh, wisdom alert. <laughs> Those neurons die. Yeah. If the brain cleans them out, then the neighboring, not to be confused, with your next door neighbor, the neighboring and connected cells can start to rewire, I, AKA build a new community of cells that you can actually use. Yeah, you're exactly the rewiring of the brain, neuroplasticity. Um, I, I understand that, but it took me a long time to understand that, what that really means. What what Steven's saying, the birds understood. <laughs> oh, you know why he's saying that, I think? I don't know. Did, uh, I'm trying to find it where you are, Mike. The, did you just say it now? Or, anyway, the birds, um, when I had my stroke, uh -huh. I would wheel, wheel me down to the, uh, like a courtyard, and I couldn't talk, but I understood what the birds were saying. She said, she kept telling me, the birds don't talk. They don't speak. And uh, I thought they did. I was in the happiest mood. I didn't even know I, could, I couldn't talk. Um, it's kind of, yeah, it's crazy. Hey, hey we have an emergency. Uh, Jerry said something so funny. Deborah is peeing herself right now. <laughs> oh, Deborah, that's funny. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see. I, right here. I'm peeing myself laughing. Jerry, but it's true, Jerry. though. <laughs> it's true what we go through. You know, I would like I, you know, I always say stroke is not for the weak. But um, a second. Oh. But yeah, it's uh, this is funny. Jerry was in, a Disney I was movie. in the hospital. I taught myself speech therapist how to do her budget on my laptop. We dropped speech therapy the next day. <laughs> Uh, Good that's funny, Mike. Mike. <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, I, I appreciate you guys putting all these comments up here. Saying, what, give us your story too. What some of the funny things that you went through? Because uh, at the time, I'm sure Paul, your family, like my family, in the beginning, am I never going to talk again? Am I, or it's just complete gibberish. I have no idea. You know. Do you want to? Uh, hear a, a really funny story oh yeah because i know there's a funny story out there all right so two weeks out of my stroke so we got back to tennessee and i locked myself in my garage although it was a nice garage in 800 square feet tv i just locked myself and I dialed Uber, you know, and I called Uber and I had it programmed my address. And Ryan was sitting on one side of the driveway, paying for the Uber. Sorry, my dad called Uber. He had a stroke. So I've decided 
to have them come in the other driveway. And I got away. Oh, really? Yeah, I got away. And I didn't know what, I, I couldn't talk. And I got away. They were so mad. They, <laughs> so I had to walk back home. <laughs> wow. So listen, I got in the car, but I didn't have the phone when I went, they took me to Home Depot to walk around. I was going to call the Uber again, but I I let my home phone at the house. Wow. <laughs> what happened? What happened then? I had to walk home. <laughs> How far was it? A long, time, a long time. And <laughs> Ryan was mad and Chris was mad. And yeah, it was not good. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Yeah. So they took my phone away from me. <laughs> wow. It's funny things that we, we I know. know. Just like I Laura know. said, always good stories to look back on. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so true. Absolutely. Um, whoa. What's Eric good talking to uh, Carolyn about? Let's see here. I could, oops, let's go here. Um, let's see. Please, Eric, go to the brain. Definitely and effective, and there are lots of new meds. Perfect doctor would be neuro, neuro ah, psychiatrist. Okay. Well, yeah. hang in there, Erica. You can do it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, Erica's saying, at least you got home, Paul. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Absolutely amazing. So, so what else do we know about aphasia that we don't know. I guess Carol would be the one there. But, you know, all the research that uh, you've done, you know, that a lot of us, I don't know if a lot of you, but doing the research on aphasia, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult <laughs> part of stroke or brain injury. You know, uh, Jerry, if you had to sum it up, having your stroke, I ask myself all the time, what did you learn most? Well, for me, what I've learned is that um, that I appreciate things more and uh, don't take um, life for granted. All these little things, you know, when I celebrate, I always, I really do this. I celebrate all those little victories, those little wins um, before I just, you know, uh, Whatever. I just, I mean, even me walking down our driveway, I mean, mm -hmm. or, and, you know, things in the road, I, I have to plan where I'm going, but um, I appreciate things much more. My friends, uh, my family, you mm -hmm. know, what they do for me, what, what have they done? I mean, since my stroke, it's been, I can't even say that. How, I can't say how much I appreciate that. You know, they've done so much for me. Um, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, can you pull up Stephen's comment? Uh, when I first met the unit charge nurse, there we go. I had slid onto the floor. She leaned over and asked me what I thought I was doing. I just looked at her and said I was turtling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, uh, yeah, that's so true. Um, Yes, and it's the thing, just like, yeah, the little things that mean the most. It is. How, how about you, Paul? Have you learned, what did you? You know, uh, too much to count. You know, Jerry, Yeah, I, I was uh, traveling all over the world and, you know, being picked, I, I would fly somewhere, they would pick me up, make a big fuss over me, and all of a sudden, when I couldn't do what I did for them, yeah. They said next case, moved on. And I realized that the best friends you have are the ones you don't stay in touch with enough. Yeah. And I agree. 100%. Yeah, I learned that and I stay in touch, you know, like Mike Burdett, Ronaldo Leonard, John yeah. Howie, Handy Heck, uh, Philip Wade, um, 
And, you know, good friends don't leave. Right. They stick and stay. Right. I learned that. I needed real good. I was a very confident speaker. I talked about that this morning. Yeah. You know, when you walk into a room and you're the speaker, you better be confident. Yeah. People yeah. pay to see you speak, you know? Right. right. And so I needed a good, heavy shot of humility because it knocked me to my knees. Right. It did, Jerry. And I'm not ashamed to say it. My world was like, I, I think, you know, you know, I was traveling and had everything that the, the man could want. Sure. But I had very little. Yeah. That mattered. Right. I understand. I hope everybody else understands that. Yeah. So I learned to be grateful, learn to yeah. be, uh, listen more. Yeah, I learned, uh, you know, in losing your speech is everything. Yeah, I yeah, I know. everything. You know, I I try to get people. Uh, you know, you and I are so close, and I, I I get emotional talking to you because I know you. Yeah, and I know how hard you work to get this done. But, you know, I wish everybody could spend one day with their mouth taped up, taped up, and you process all those thoughts. Yes. And you can't say anything. I think if we could have a one-day pause on talking, one day, yeah. people might actually understand what aphasia is. Right. It's a good point. It's absolutely a great point. Um, I would say more than a day because you, I, it's been, yeah, but it's, it's true. You know, you, you appreciate some, I uh, think it was salutes, cherish your loved ones. Um, it's true. I, I, I can't say it enough because when I, before my stroke, oh, I was in charge of $4 billion in banks. And I had to speak to, you know, the board yep. directors, the uh, the management team and down. I spoke to them and I'll tell you what, I, looking back, I couldn't, I can't believe I did that. Now, actually, I think I could do better. It wouldn't come out real right, but I really want to talk to them. And and one of the banks that I, I managed, the CEO, uh, three weeks ago, just had a stroke. And uh, next week, we're going out to see him because he drove down when I had mine. I couldn't speak. He was the CEO, came down, a eight-hour drive to just see me and hear wow. me say nothing. You know, I could shake my head. That's it. Smiled. I couldn't do anything else. And what a gift that is for him to come to see me. So. I'm so excited to see him. I've got all my material, you know, Dr. Sullivan, Dr. Bassar, all their stuff, and I'm going to give them um, to, I, you know, all the, you know, you've got, you've got those and all that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. So read Deborah's comment. I love that. Today, I am too blessed to be depressed, too anointed to yeah. be disappointed. Very true. Thank you. Good, good way to put that there. Um, let the here's another one here from our good old Carolyn. Did you subscribe to my channel, Carolyn? Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have come to see aphasia as a loss of your individually individual humanity. Everyone perceives you so different than before. They do. Yeah. It's a shame, yeah. But they do. Uh, you know. Um, somebody said I used to speak for a living. Now I feel like a sound like a baby. Listen, keep doing it. 
keep doing it. You, you know, know I spoke yeah. for a living for 40 mm -hmm. years, 5,200 speaking engagements. You can do anything. Yes. And Aubrey, today is Tuesday. You do, she does, uh, sorry, Aubrey, she does a uh, show on YouTube too. And she speaks wonderful. She, I love talking to you, uh, Aubrey. I wish I could. I'd love to have you on, but we'll do this again. She was on. Hey, hey Carolyn, did you subscribe to my YouTube channel? <laughs> uh, that's funny. I am Paul Cummings. That's my YouTube channel. That's right. I am Paul Cummings. TBI Tuesday. That's what she is. She, she had a, a traumatic brain injury, uh, Aubrey. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, so um, it, this is great. I, this is great involvement here. This is what this is all about. Yeah. Um, yeah. People think that oh, we are unintelligent. You know, uh, yeah. Erica, you may think that. I choose to think something different. Yeah. They don't understand. They simply don't understand. People are not rude as a general rule. They may right. roll their eyes because they don't get it. They mm -hmm. may scoff at you a little bit. I believe if they knew, they really, yeah. if you, they really knew and had a good explanation of aphasia, yeah. most yeah. people are good. <laughs> The true, if they had, like you said, they had a good understanding, right, of what aphasia is. They, you know, we, we both know we've had those stories, some nurses or whoever, they don't know what aphasia is, which completely blows me away. Um, aphasia, everybody should be knowing about that. Like you, not everybody, but, uh, well, they should. Um, it's like a stroke. I never knew what a stroke was when I had mine. I mean, I heard the word stroke. But. You know, I read a, a, a article recently about a uh, guy that was writing a play. Right. About aphasia. Never had aphasia. No actors in the cast have a, aphasia. Tell me how you're going to do a play about aphasia if you never had aphasia, had no actors experience aphasia right so we need to do a play you star as you i'll star as me and it will be funny to walk out of the play and say what was that right exactly was right hey hey we could name it what was that that you, you know what <laughs> seriously i'd love to you know an explanation of what it is would it be in the beginning or the end because exactly people would probably be so interested thinking what are these two goofy guys doing exactly you know but uh i just believe we can just keep uh just keep standing strong the race yeah. down, you know yeah um this is can good thank you mike you see mike's comment there paul I really hope that you, I, you two and others give us all a chance to communicate with the special group that have similar absolutely. interest issues. Very well done. Thanks, yes. Mike. Mike, that's perfect. Great. I love that. So, um, you know, I just have to pull this one up too, Deborah. You all need to do a series on stroke bloopers. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> I, you you know what's funny? <laughs> they think we're blooping. We're just pooping. <laughs> yeah, that's funny because it, it's not we're blooping. In our language. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is great. Um, that's perfect. Yeah, like Mike's aphasia movie. That's funny. Well, shoot, it's uh. Uh, 11.49 your time, and you've got, um, you're taking Laura to the airport. Yeah, I've, I've got about, uh, oh, 30 minutes before we have to leave. Yep. Yeah, wow. 
Interesting. Yep. That's good. That's good that she's going, you know, keep uh, oh. her mom, Abby. Yeah. You know. Um, uh, Richard Jr. liked to celebrate. He would uh, ask Abby, do you want to go to Olive Garden on your birthday? <laughs> so he loved Olive Garden. So, wow. And uh, Abby and Laura is going to go to Olive Garden. Oh, nice. Uh, in Richard Jr.'s honor. And yeah, uh, it's just important. Oh, yeah. First of all, I can't Absolutely. imagine losing a sibling. Yeah. I can't imagine no. out living one of my kids. I, you know, we talk about that in our family. I would like, I don't, uh, know, I don't know. How could I go and, on? You know, and, uh, you know, Laura and Abby uh, have done really well, yeah. but still struggling. You yeah. Know, and, uh, you know, I love her so much and, she needs, you know, sometimes you have to uh, put yourself on the back burner and let people heal and do what they need to do to get better, you know? And yeah, she needs to be up there with her mom. Yes, people heal in different ways. Or, um, but yeah, she needs that. And so, uh, you know, we don't hear the... Uh, how you all are gonna do in which shouldn't be, I guess it's different for everybody, but you're healing in a different way and you, um, you're you uh, not, which is no big deal, communicating you three to the world because it shouldn't be, I mean, that's something you should cherish, Laura, Abby, and anybody that knew Richard Jr. Yeah. You know, I can't believe what I saw her do and they uh, Christmas spirit fun videos. Right. First of all, it's a lot of hard work, yeah. a lot of hard work. And she just pushed through and it was very emotional for her because wow. she did it with him. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Uh, I just uh, was really proud of her, and um, it uh, took a lot, you know. You I'll can imagine, yeah. I mean, to set up that whole tribute, you know, mm -hmm. which we on the outside watched it on yep. YouTuber, and they handled it so amazing. Yeah, um, you know, she's a strong person. And the, Closeness. I, I don't want to keep bringing it up. Just the, but the the closeness that we can all see the relationship. Mm. I mean, it was emotional for whoever watched their. Uh, and uh, I'm just telling, she greatly misses her brother. Uh, I mean, yeah, they were I very, know. very, very, very very close oh yeah exactly i i agree i mean the way she sang with him i mean it was just so heartfelt i mean i who did not get emotional watching them to sing and how close oh. they were i mean it was it was a beautiful yes. thing right yes. i mean i, I yeah we i mean all learn from richard jr's approach to life so kind so witty oh, so loving yeah. oh. Absolutely. Um, anyway, I just I didn't I, mean to make that uh, just I had that on my mind because when you have aphasia, like when when I watched her go through what she went through to do that uh, the videos, yeah, it reminded me of how hard you know, Jerry. When I first had my stroke, I would spend all day, all day to produce a two minute video. And the worst part, I couldn't type. So I would get so frustrated when I couldn't get it right. Yeah. So I pr pr would produce it the day before. And so I would have never gone live. Go live? No way. Right. Right. 
So uh, just uh, it took a lot for her to do that. And that reminded me of that. So, yeah, yeah. That's but, why I brought it up. Well, that, that, you know, it just shows the how we are handling things and, and how we really feel about you and Laura, Abby, you know. Hey, Jerry, you know this. I had to show this. You ready? Yes. Look at my look. Look at this. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's wonderful. Oh my gosh. You know, I, know, I know we're just about out of time, but there was one graphic. Let's see. I can't believe it that I didn't pull it up earlier, but this is aphasia. Um, have you ever seen that? No. Yeah, I don't know where I got that, but uh, trying to. This is one of my early days in in uh, speech therapy. You know, association. But anyway, that it was. You know, you know, it's amazing the tools we used uh, early on. Right. And you know. One of the things I hope to do, I want to put together a bunch of workbooks that would help people yeah. uh, learn how to talk better because uh, everybody learns differently, True. uniquely, at their own pace. And what I loved about teaching there's no universal way to teach. Mm, right. Right. You just had teaching is hard work. Sure. If you put your heart into it, everybody learns at the own pace, their own way, especially right. with aphasia. So true. I, I just about put my last things in here too. I, when I go to my uh, stroke support group, I was the one sitting in the back, hiding. I was more embarrassed that I had the stroke and I couldn't talk. But now I go to the stroke support groups in certain hospitals that I know here. And I want, you know, I, I call them, I want to be the speaker and tell them, you know, things will get better. Um, Cause so many people from me too was so frustrated. I mean, you know, now I want to help people out that uh, even though I'm not speaking completely hundred percent, but still want to help them out. And just show them. Um, You're a, for a, a rock star, Jerry. Uh, well, I mean, think about it. <laughs> exactly. You no, know, you are a rock star. It's like getting tickets to see Garth Brooks on the front row. You just, you know. Hey, I know. I, I've yep. seen him a couple times. And, uh, yep. oh, yeah, I used to love to sing. Paul, you're amazing. You're amazing. I love you, buddy. I love you too. And and uh, any last words you think maybe you you could end with it? Um, you know, I know hope's on the way or whatever. You don't have to use, use that. You can use something because we were talking about it. We talking about aphasia. You know uh, what I would say to uh, every person that caregiver or aphasia alike: just be patient and this too shall pass yeah just give yourself time absolutely absolutely uh, thank you give yourself time right right uh, oh wait what you uh, this is uh, i'm lost here but thank you go uh read my message about the dog you just showed oh that's that's uh sharon antonucci's dog oh carolyn's uh former uh cohort in crime ah wow okay yep beautiful i think well, i got that right <laughs> yeah wow this is great you guys are awesome someone someone said if you just get on to let talk stroke on youtube i can't remember where that was that's where uh that's where my channel is um uh, and last one here too um ray magnus this is a thank you so much, Ray. Aww. 
Thanks, Ray. Awesome. And thank mm -hmm. you, Jana. Oh, hey, Jana must have fell out of the bed. She called us gentlemen. Whoa. Are you <laughs> sure you got, you got the right? I wonder if they, she, Jana, Jana. But, Can you believe really? that? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, well, T, nice to see you. Um, thank you guys for being here. I, I appreciate it. And of course, Paul. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, we'll be chatting. That's right. Peace out. Peace Love out. You. Well, Love you. Oh, Hank. Look at him. That's my fingers. See? Oh, Love you. Love you. All right. See you guys.